This picture shows the posterior muscles of the thigh, specifically the posterior compartment of the thigh. Um, these are the flexors of uh, the posterior thigh, but they also help in extending the thigh. Okay, so the posterior compartment has two functions, uh, to flex the leg and extend the thigh. And that is because these muscles cross two joints. One is the hip joint and the other one is the knee joint. So when you look at the motions of the muscle, this will make more sense. So these muscles are together called the hamstring muscle, which you've probably heard of. The hamstring consists of the bicep femoris. Bi means two, sep means head. So bicep femoris has two origins and it is located on the femur. That's why it's called bicep femoris. And then the next muscle is semitendinous. So this muscle is the semitendinous muscle and this muscle on the side which is medially located that is the semimembranous muscle. Um, so one thing that you probably have heard of one uh, condition or somebody saying I pulled my hamstring. Now pulled hamstring are basically the strain of the hamstring muscle just like somebody pulled the groin right. So somebody who runs very hard or are required to uh, perform sudden stops uh, while running uh, and this can sometimes wear the tendinous regions of the hamstring and they can tear. The muscle that is most affected in here is the bicep femoris muscles. Okay, and usually it happens at the ischial tuberosity. And um, when somebody has a pulled hamstring, um, they might even end up rupturing a blood vessel. It can produce a hematoma, meaning a collection of blood in this region, which can cause a sharp pain. And that's why it's very important to have a very good balance, um, a lot of stretching before running or competing to prevent this injury. So people who don't warm up can often have pain either on the knee or on the hip, uh, which is pretty common for people who don't warm up properly and just start working out. Okay, so now let's look at the insertion and origins of these muscles. I'm going to start with the superficial, relatively superficial muscle. This is the um, semitendinous muscle. The semitendinous muscle originates at the ischial tuberosity. So what you're looking at is the anterior view. So if you rotate it slightly, you can see how it uh, begins at the ischial tuberosity. It goes behind the leg and then slightly curves and then inserts uh, medially uh, on the shaft of the tibia, kind of medially. Okay, so this is the semitendinous muscle. The function of this muscle is to flex the leg at the knee joint and extend the thighs at the hip joint. So two functions, flexing the leg, because these are all flexors of the posterior compartment. So they all flex the leg at the knee joint and they extend the thigh at the hip joint. So all of these three muscles will have the same action. So I like this image because it shows all three muscles and you see how they are contracting. Now all these three hamstring muscles have the same action. They flex the leg, meaning they reduce the angle at the knee joint and they extend the thigh at the hip joint. So this is flexion and this is extension. Okay. This muscle over here slightly here. Yeah. So this muscle over here is the semimembranous muscle. The semimembranous muscle has its origin at the ischial tuberosity. So this is the ischium and this is the ischial tuberosity and if you look at how it's located posteriorly, you're looking at the back, it attaches to the ischial tuberosity 
and again inserts itself on the proximal um, medial uh, surface on the shaft of the tibia okay and its function again is to flex the knee at the knee joint and extend the thigh at the hip joint and this muscle over here is the bicep femoris so what you're looking at is the long head of the bicep femoris and this over here is the short head of the bicep femoris so like i said bi means two so these muscles have two different points of origin and the uh, long head and short head have two different origins. The long head originates at the ischial tuberosity right over here, but the short head originates at the linear aspera of the femur. Both of them together insert at the head of the fibula and the lateral condyle of the tibia. And again, the function of this muscle is to flex the leg at the knee joint and extend the thigh at the hip joint.